Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we are going to learn uh, push notification in .NET Mount. So here is a demo here. So this is a, a .NET uh, Maui. Okay. So uh, as you know that the push notification was in the background when app is running in the background. So So I'm keeping this app in the background, okay? And uh, let's see, let's test with the example, okay? When I click on it, I select the note uh, token. I get this notification. Okay, so before uh, starting uh, the dot net my uh, coding tutorial, so uh, uh, please uh, subscribe my channel and uh, click on the a notification uh, bell icon so whenever uh, uh, you will get any notification then uh, uh, you will get the first notification on your mobile application so uh, this is the uh, my blog This is my blog, okay? So uh, go through this blog. Uh, I will explain uh, everything in this video, uh, but all the codes and uh, tutorial is also available here. And uh, please uh, click on the uh, ad uh, for, uh, for, for, for supporting me. Okay? Uh, so let's begin with the code. First of all, we will learn uh, in uh, Android, then we will move to the iOS coding. Okay, so first of all, what you have to do? First of all, you have to nugget these three uh, packages. Okay, uh, if you uh, if you first if you uh, first install the latest version, if you get any uh, issues or any error, then uh, install this. Uh, uh, version okay uh, because this version is working successfully i tried with the latest version but it is not working properly so i tried this version and it is working uh, uh, very nice so uh, if you if the latest version is not working properly then uh, of course you you have to try this version okay so after that you have to uh, uh, you have to uh, create a Firebase uh, uh, project. So go to this uh, Firebase console. So for this, we have to uh, Google uh, Firebase. Okay, Firebase console. You are, you will get a Firebase console. If you have already account, then uh, you don't have to create account. Just create a new project. Okay. And after creating a, a new project, I have provided all the steps here. Please follow the steps on the uh, my blog. So uh, click on the add project. Okay, and give the uh, project's name here. After that, uh, click on create project. Okay, and uh, you don't have to enable analytics. Okay, uh, of course, if you need analytics data, then you have to enable it. But uh, uh, we need only push notification, so uh, we don't. Uh, it is not necessary to enable the analytics. Okay, then, then here you will get a your ad app. Okay, so here is already uh, Android. So when you click on the ad app, uh, you will get an option for iOS and Android. So we are creating for the Android. So please select on the Android. Okay. 
so you have to uh, add a package name okay so you will get uh, this package name this manifest okay so this is the uh, package name here okay so copy this and paste here and uh, give uh, optional nickname okay click on register app after register app click you will get a, a config file okay so uh, You have to download that config file okay so after that uh, that uh, config file means json file that is json file the you have to download that json file and uh, uh, place in the platform folder android folder your google json google services JSON, okay so uh, right click on this uh, go to property and set it as a Google services JSON. Fine. After that, uh, uh, as uh, for those who don't know how to add a nugget for individual Android and iOS, so click on the Android here, dependency Android, and uh, click on the manage nugget set, nugget package. Okay, as it is uh, running. As it is running, so it is uh, disabled here. You can add a nugget package uh, from Android and iOS project in this way. Okay. So after that, uh, uh, you have to create a Firebase services. Okay. So uh, in the platform. In the platform Android, I have created new folder called uh, services. There you have to create a Firebase services. Okay. So in this uh, in this file, uh, I have uh, created a, a logic that uh, get a token here. Uh, it is message received. Okay. Whenever you get a message received, and this is a send notification. Send notification means. Uh, then uh, okay after that uh, uh, just follow my blog you will get uh, step by step uh, you don't have to do anything uh, other okay I also explain uh, what is the purpose of uh, all method so after that in the main page okay in the main page you have to uh, uh, write uh, preference so in my uh, if you don't know, uh, preference is uh, something that uh, that will uh, uh, that is used like a back means preference is uh, like uh, in in web there is called session that uh, contain a uh, uh, one type of variable a uh, static variable or something. So this is one type of preference that uh, it will hold a key and value. Okay. So uh, you can create uh, any dynamic custom uh, custom key here and pass a value here. Okay. So uh, this is the uh, key and this is the value. So if you want to get that preference key, you have to use like uh, this one. If preference contain this, then preference dot get the key value. Okay. So you will get here value here. So in this way, you will get a device token. So this device token will be used while uh, sending a notification okay from firebase or from a firebase api so this is the notif uh, this is the uh, permission okay this is the permission you have to add in android manifest okay so these two permission you will be required uh, this is not required but uh, internet will be required okay after that in main activity uh, you have to uh, create only permission okay this is for the navigation if you want to navigate uh, 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 page when you click uh, on the notification okay so but uh, i am not explaining this if you want to implement you can implement this uh, i will uh, i will explain only uh, push notification 
So uh, in main activity, we will go to the main activity page. So this is the main activity page. First of all, you have to create a channel ID and notification ID. Okay. So you have to provide a permission. Okay. And after that, uh, you have to create a notification channel. So this is the code. If the uh, Android is uh, great, uh, is 26, then you have to write uh, this following code. Okay. So in this way, uh, you can create a push notification for uh, Android. Uh, if you have any questions and the, any uh, comments, then please ask me in the comment section. And uh, now we will look for the iOS. So for iOS, I don't have any Mac or iPhone. So it will be tested on uh, uh, I, iPhone or iPad. But I don't have that device. And another thing is that I don't also have Apple developer account. Uh, it, uh, we have to pay for it. But I don't have. But uh, I have a code which is working. Uh, I'm not saying that uh, it will not work. It will uh, work properly. So I will uh, I will show you the steps and the code from my blog. I also mentioned go through the blog. Okay. Uh, uh, if uh, if any conditions or if any uh, any time I will get any access to the Apple developer account or I will have an iPhone then. Uh, I will surely create a video by showing the example. Okay. So first of all, you have to uh, log into the Apple developer account. You have to create all the certificates and all the things. Okay. Now you have to uh, you have to uh, install a, a certificate. Then after you have to create a bundle identifier. Bundle identifier will be same for the Android, iOS and the use that identifier in this it is bundle identifier. So I think this bundle identifier will uh, look like this I hope this is the bundle identifier you have to create a bundle identifier here. then you have to uh, create add a device okay for the testing device okay after that in the provisional profile there is a provisional profile you have to uh, create a development provisional profile you have to create a, uh, a development uh, provisional profile you have to download and uh, install in your mac okay then after that you have to create a APN key okay APN key is used for the push notification so create it and download and save this key okay and uh, this is only download it once okay you can download it only once so uh, be careful download and save it okay after that uh, uh, you have to create a uh, uh, so, uh, uh, sorry, you have to add app in the existing uh, uh, project uh, in iOS, okay? And you have to add that bundle identifier. Bundle identifier will be add here. Uh, so add app iOS. So this year you have to add a bundle identifier. Uh, note. Uh, identifier of the iOS and the Android uh, you have to keep same it is not necessary but uh, uh, it uh, uh, if you keep uh, the same it will be uh, very helpful and uh, it will be uh, easily under uh, remember okay so after that uh, uh, what you call you have to uh, download so, uh, config file from here and uh, add in the iOS project as you have added in the Android project. Okay. Here you have to add. Okay. Now, now in the iOS app section, 
uh, you have to add a app apn auth key where you have downloaded from from here okay uh, i also explain that uh, it will be download once so you have to upload that apn auth key and then add key id and team id from the apple developer account okay after that uh, all the process will be from the dotnet moi uh, install the latest version or this version okay this xamarin firebase.ios.cloud message okay and the below is code this is app delicate uh, code so uh, yeah this is the just uh, copy this code okay and uh, paste uh, in app delicate account uh, you will get uh, uh, device uh, token from here okay so after that uh, you have to uh, write in uh, means you have to create a new file you have to create a new file okay in the plat uh, ios platform folder okay and it will be inherit from the user notification center delegate and uh, here you have to write uh, uh, this uh, you have to override this will present notification okay after that you have to add a key and value in the entitlement playlist uh, apps environment development okay then uh, you can uh, test uh, in the uh, firebase and it will successfully work in the ios uh, app okay if you any get any issues and any uh, any problem then please ask me in the comment section okay i hope you will like you like this video and please share this uh, video to your uh, friends and uh, please subscribe my channel thank you